Boston, England, uh, and Chicago. Uh, and just in our time here in Times yeah. Square, we have seen plenty of people hop these turnstiles here at the station. You mentioned what fare evasion will cost the MTA. $500 million this year alone. Chicago, Austin, estimate. what difference does it make? Fare evasion is going to cost the MTA $500 million. Think about that. That's a lot of jump turnstiles, man, from people who don't pay any taxes. And then on top of that, they got to spend an additional million dollars a month for additional security for those same non-tax-paying-ass gremlins. And then as soon as one of those security guards approaches a sudden man who isn't in the act of a crime and somebody pulls out their phone and the stunt man starts saying, see, I ain't even doing nothing, man. Look, they profiling us. Then the well, yeah, of course, that, that, com that completes the circle of life, man. <laughs> it's, just, it's just not like sustainable. <laughs> Speaking yeah. of that, Donut put out a video uh, the other day, yeah, like a couple days ago, about uh, a son man that uh, you know fled in a car, got into a car accident, and then was like, "I didn't do nothing." As he's being arrested and he's trying to escape and all that kind of stuff, and just let me go, man, or just let me talk or whatever. It's like, good God, it's like <laughs> ten minutes of him saying exactly the same thing over and over again. It's like that's that's George Floyd. Just it give just me a warning. To be younger, younger, and healthier. Yeah, man, it's 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 rough, man. I, it's just how do you? I just don't see a way out of this, man. Honestly, man. Lost the MTA five hundred million dollars this year alone is the estimate, which is why agency leaders say the security guards are worth the price tag. It's a free for all. The acting chief of the NYPD's Transit Bureau told a city council hearing about his patrols of the subway system earlier this year. He did not like what he saw. A lot of people aren't paying. I was in full uniform and, and people were uh, going through the turnstile without paying. Um, people were asking me to help them go through without paying, hold the door for them, and giving me attitude when I closed the door. In an attempt to deter fare evasion, the agency revealed it is spending $1 million a month for more than 200 unarmed private security. <laughs> a bunch of sisters. A bunch of fucking sisters, man. What the fuck? The only gonna thing do? that's going to stop that is turnstiles that they can't jump, but they have to walk through the cage turnstiles. That's the only thing that will stop you that. Got a, you got a bunch of damn Queen Latifas. <laughs> yeah, they're right. just collecting a check. This is not fucking Hollywood. Queen Latifah can't fucking do a somersault and fucking get up and roundhouse kick a bad guy in real life, man. And have him go through the wall. <laughs> <laughs> not even if they're melanated, Hawk. They got that black girl they, magic. They do this stupid shit in Philly, too. And all, all those people do is just stand around all, all day <laughs> looking at their phone. And right. ignoring all the freaking sun men that are jumping the turnstiles. Like, it, it ain't, ain't going to do shit. Do yeah, for the picture, they're standing there looking at attention, but without it, they're just sitting there on their phone. No. That's only because there's a like camera there. If they wanted to do this for real, they would have to be in full like SWAT gear with <laughs> fucking batons and face shields and all that because they would be getting in serious brawls every fucking day. Tasers. Yeah. Oh, the but thing. there's a new one out there that's a grappler that shoots out and wraps around their legs to, to incapacitate them. I don't know how well that works, but I've seen it. Well, you you would need actually, dozens of well. round. Well, you would need lots and lots of oh, yeah. <laughs> every day. Yo, there, there'd be a carpet of sun men. Yeah, you laying would on the fill, ground you would, behind you would the fill up a, You'd fill a cow a cow trailer up in about half an hour with that fucking thing. Telling the sun man to not jump the turnstile. Although not exactly the same thing as asking him to leave, it's like asking him if to leave's cousin. Yeah, you know what I'm I mean, it's basically an act of war, don't it's you? It's like know? telling them to pull their pants up. <laughs> it's 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 on that spectrum of asking him to leave, man. And you think that these sisters 
who are dating these guys and got the, these these are their sons don't are gonna be fucking doing this shit all day as thousands because see the thing about it this Let is him the go. he looks like my nephew here's the fallacy of what they're saying about it costing the mta 500 million if the, if it wasn't free those some men wouldn't wouldn't use the train so it's it's not costing really the, the mta anything because if like you johnny said if it was a if there was a way that you could just keep them out without like a, a, a uh, unjumpable turnstile, those some men wouldn't use the fucking train. And the MTA would be a hell of a lot safer. So it's like, I mean, you just you just got a stream of them because now it's it's a free fall, like the guy said. So you have like it's like it's like goddamn like if you drop a popsicle stick in the summertime. Just like the ants, you come back like 30 minutes later. Just, no, it's like you drop chum in the water. That's what it's it just, is. It's just, it's like literally like these women, there's no way they can have that many encounters in a day with these sun men that are trying to jump this thing. And even if they pick their poison or, um, you know what I'm saying, pick and choose like which one oh no no he looked he looked rough and, uh, and, and they try to like you know said choose their battles pick their battles there's still gonna be so many battles that they I, it's just it's, it's just not feasible to make it through a day to make it the lunchtime checking sunmen will jump in the turnstile more than 200 unarmed private security guards stationed near the turnstiles at 14 stations. <laughs> is it all women? This is a this is an all women brigade. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Here? Yes, exactly. For an agent, <laughs> see with a budget whole size of the island of Manhattan, every lost dollar counts. The MTA spends, you know, a lot of money collecting fares as a general matter. So um, we see this as an important investment. But City Council Member oh, Darlene God. Neely sees it differently. Jesus Christ! What the fuck? Everywhere you look! You mean a fairly important investment? Oh. Every fucking way you look, it's her. If she's not complaining about fucking white people's fucking bills being cheap. She's fucking running in the fucking city or running the goddamn like some shit. Like what the fuck? Is We're going Twilight on? Zone. I mean, everything about this is Twilight Zone over and over and over again. Investment. But City Council Member Darlene Mealy sees it differently. This is yes. a waste of taxpayers' money. I respectfully disagree. The president of New York City Transit says the guards do more than just help the MTA recoup money. They improve the system's image and make it feel safer. Weekday I'm subway ridership remains stubbornly low. The chat in low. here says they're the only ones dumb enough to take the job. I'm the uh, I'm with the sun sister on this one. This shit is a waste of money. Yeah, it's a total waste of money. You need you need about five hundred Judge Dreads <laughs> on they, the subway. They they got a, a a bunch of metapausal and premetapausal fucking old fat women as security guards. Yeah. It's just... Oh, hovering at a little more than sixty percent of comparable pre-pandemic days one of the things i've heard is you know from customers is if they see someone smoking if they see someone drinking if they see someone evading a fare that begins to erode their confidence in the system some fare beaters also commit other crimes in the system this year according to new nypd statistics transit crime has jumped 30.2 percent compared to last but there has been recent progress Last month, the NYPD says major crime in the transit system decreased nearly 13% compared to November of last year. For many riders, though, numbers How many of don't those matter. Are, Perceptions I didn't prosecute. do. And think of yeah, exactly. Yeah. Or or the and person who had their shit that... stolen just didn't even call the cops because it ain't it ain't worth doing. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's just. There's no solutions. Do. And think about the perception that gives someone, the average citizen that's paying their fare walking in, when their first 
minute into their journey is observing an atmosphere that shows it's a free-for-all, it's lawlessness. That perception travels with them uh, throughout the entire journey, and it, it goes home with them. An MTA blue ribbon panel is expected to recommend redesigning turnstiles as well as those emergency exit gates, which allow 10 or 20 or 30 or 50 people into the subway system without paying. That blue ribbon panel is expected to release a report detailing all of its findings sometime soon.